back on the channel boys and girls and today this is obviously not a Lambo. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you about that again but today we are playing around with obviously this is a Audi Quattro SD1 and it's got a sunroof so what I'm going to do is take a mould of this whole roof and we're going to put a carbon Kevlar roof in. This is some, uh, this is carbon filler, which is top notch, really good stuff. So, um, yeah, so we got a Audi Quattro, well, 1986 Audi Quattro, uh, and they're going to turn it into an SD1. So we got a kit and all the car came with all the kit. There's a lot of work to be done on it, but that makes it all fun. And then we're learning, aren't we? So, uh, further ado, let's get the uh, carbonizing this roof. Right here, well we filled all that in, that's all nice and we got first layer of wax on here. It's gonna let it dry and hopefully uh we can put some PVA, a couple of layers of PVA on top of that and then uh, we can take them all. Right, we see a blue tinge to it, that's the PVA, so we've got to wait for that to go off and then we can start putting the gel coat over the top of that. And as that goes off, then we start adding uh, matting to the top of that. And then, uh, hey presto, out comes uh, a mould. Right, oh, so we're gonna do this one in. We got some, uh, what's it called now? Uh, can't think of what it's called. That white stuff on there. <laughs> top of gel coat. And then we're just gonna photograph these up and then we're gonna do, probably do another separation there as well. I weren't going to do it originally, but the more I look at it now, the more set rations, the better, really. Right, that's all laid up now. We're just waiting for it to go off, and then we've got this right here. So, once they've gone off, we'll prepare the next bit. I don't know, maybe, maybe like that down, and then. Uh, and then the rest of that, because I don't know if it's going to pop out from underneath the air seat. Right, the third part's on. Gel coat is on. We've got these lips that we're going to our connecting points. And then we've got them down there, the end plates. So we've got to wait for this to go off. Oh yeah, we've uh, fiberglass that up. We've got to wait for this gel coat to go off then, and we can fiberglass the top of that. And then hopefully, hey presto, we have a mould. Right here, we've got the first layer on. It's looking pretty good. So we'll wait for that to dry and then we can do our second layer. And we might put pieces of wood in there to stiffen them up or keep the, keep the shape. I don't know yet, I'll have to think about that. But it's coming out pretty cool. Right, I've let this sit overnight and I've put some drill holes in here ready for when we split them apart we can bolt them back together so they're all done now we're gonna front part of splitting these and hopefully they come apart <laughs> fingers crossed there it comes lovely hey one part of our mold tidy now, uh, this bit to do now. Right, with some messing about off camera, we've got this off, and it's lovely. I'm so chuffed with that. They come off really good. It was a bit tough down in that corner, down in there. Didn't want to release under there, but uh, it popped out eventually. So I'm well happy. I'm over the moon with that. Right, one side down, and let's do the other side. Okay, I think it's, uh... oh, that was off. <laughs> Tidy, there's a the back half. Cool. We got him off, boy. Ha <laughs> We got ourselves We got ourselves a roof mold for some, for some carbon fiber and Kevlar in there and I'll be look 
absolutely marvellous. I'm so happy how that came out with. Right, so we've got our mould, it's all together, uh, it's all waxed up and waiting for the wax to dry so we can put some, some PVA on it and then hopefully we can do some carbon fibering because we've got some a roll of carbon fibre, it's quite cheap actually. And I also got, if I can reach it, is we have some PVA correct carbon Kevlar as well which is uh that is the last layer that goes on there so when you look up you'll see you'll see that so we just wait for this to go off now and then uh, i suppose we'll lay some carbon for the first time okay our pva is dry and now we've got the carbon out we this is uh two by two carbon so we're gonna measure this out and uh Cut a couple of pieces to go up and up in there as well, and obviously you've got a crisscross of pattern. Doesn't matter how it's going to look because you're not going to see it because we're going to be painted on the other side. So I'm right, just going to cut the pieces ready to fit, uh, cut the cut the uh, layers, and then uh, hopefully see how it goes. Right, we got all our sections, and I'm kind of. Uh, Cat my pants like the first time I ever used fiberglass. Uh, same here on carbon fiber. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna mix them up. The stuff I got is uh, two to one. So I think we just mix it up and go for it. And fingers crossed it turns out. Uh, I haven't got my uh, GoPro, I can't find it. Uh, so next time you see me, probably will be either the first layer done or two sec two layers are done. So. Fingers crossed it goes well, and uh, let's find out. Right, it's actually been a couple of days and it's now hard. I'm not 100% happy with it, even though it did go in all the grooves and I had to use pegs down the side to keep it up. It did work, but for these more ink, ink technical bends, you could say, because there's a lot of bends down here, and even up in here, I'd still like to have a vacuum bag on it, to be honest with you. So I think what I'm gonna do is leave it for now, save up for some vacuum bags, and then uh, I'll redo, well, do that bit and that bit, get away with what we got here, because it, it is all in, uh, in the gaps where it's supposed to be. So uh, it sort of worked. But really, if you're gonna do cold lay, I'd say still put a vacuum bag on it because uh, I mean, you see them people on YouTube doing cold lay, and you really, I, I think you really do need a, a vacuum bag. So don't be just shoving something on it. Save that extra bit. I found a website and it's only seventy quid anyway for a vacuum bag kit, which is I thought that was pretty good because you can still re reuse most of it. So I got one then on order. So wait for that to come in. As we wait for that to come in. Um, I think we do some tidying up and oh, I got some parts for um, a gear shift linkage where they don't make them anymore obviously because they only made a certain amount of them for the rally car itself. So uh, here's a picture of, of what we're going to be making from scratch. So we've managed to source bits that we need to um, make Obviously this is going to go on the bottom of there. This is our gear stick handle. Here's the radius bearings that we need. And a nice big block of aluminium, aluminium. Well, depending on what part of the world you're from. So we've got the parts ready for that. And yeah, basically. So all we've got to do is just make the base, which uh, we make those bits first, make them bits up, and then we can calculate how big something's going to be and, and give a rough estimated guess of uh, the dimensions so we can make the actual bottom case for it all to sit on. So uh, that'll be coming up soon. And of course, and it's Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a bit different from building a, a crimp edge, but we still got customers' cars, which are uh, I couldn't actually come out if you want to see them on, on the channel or whatever. 
So uh, drop a comment if you want to see them. And um, yeah, we got a, a lot of tidying up to do in this sheet chassis and then build a roll cage and then build that. So until next video, which might be um, Christmas, might be, might be the part of the new year. Until then, keep safe, have a lovely time. Don't drink and drive, even though we might be in lockdown. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a change from building a Lamborghini and this is the new project and I expect there'll be other new projects as further as we go on. So uh, until next time, keep safe. See you next time.